My name is Thomas Poggi. I'm a professor of philosophy at Yale University. I'm also the founding director of the Global Justice Program here. The Milgram experiment gives us a very important piece of insight into the human personality. And in particular, I would emphasize two things. One thing is uh, that we are animals who are herd animals, if you like, who are willing to go very, very far in doing things that we ourselves judge to be wrong if instructed to do so by authority. The other thing is uh, that we are animals who are not deciding moment by moment but often embark on a train of action and then uh, may not reconsider that train of action, may sort of go through with the course of action without re-evaluating it. So I think that's an important part of the explanation of what happened in the Milgram experiments, that these individuals made a decision, should I, in exchange for $10 or whatever they were offered, should I participate in this experiment or should I not? And then once they'd made that decision, they were not really actively reconsidering when the experiment turned out to be different from what it was. People uh, did become subject to horrendous guilt feelings afterwards. Well, I think the, uh, it connects very strongly to World War II. I'm German myself, as maybe you know, and uh, so I've lived with that whole problem of the Nazi period. And uh, I think it is a very important part of the explanation of what happened in Germany, that people were very much willing to follow authority and that they were also willing to stick to a course of action that they had once embarked upon. Authority figures reassuring them everything is okay, but then you see the people around you who are doing the same sort of thing. You know, other people seem to be undisturbed by these events, and so if they continue, then maybe I should continue as well. So I think that uh, the relationship between authority and the people uh, is always a relationship that should be rethought. I mean, the people have a responsibility to rethink, not just to put the right people into authority, but also to constantly evaluate the authority and to rethink <coughs> this authority and see whether the instructions that emanate from the authority are really appropriate instructions. If you think about it, right, sort of objectively, somebody tells you to uh, run a life-threatening amount of voltage through another human being for a learning experiment so that person learns faster about a few word combinations or whatever it was. I mean, that's a horrendous thing to have done. And knowing that about oneself is not so easy to, to know that one oneself might easily have become a Nazi under the right stimulus conditions if some authority had told one to do this, one, one would have collaborated. So that's very, very disturbing to know, but it's also something that, of course, is very, very important for us to know so that we can prepare against it. And so on the whole, I think it is probably a good thing that this experiment took place. <laughs>